glad. I jumped for joy when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Let's all stand this morning. I welcome those of you from our online campus, those listening by radio, those on Channel 21 here in the Louisville market, and welcome to all of you standing here. Look at your beautiful faces. Would you go over to somebody and shake their hand, say, you're just as pretty as I am. I didn't think it was possible. And those of you online, you know what you do during this time? Share it, share it, share it, share it. Share the link, please. Invite people to church. That's how you do it. As we're standing for the reading of the word, I want to read out of Psalms 103. It's one of my favorite chapters. With my whole heart, with my whole life, and with my innermost being, I bow in wonder and love before you, the holy God. Yahweh, you are my soul's celebration. How could I ever forget the miracles of kindness you've done for me? You kissed my heart with forgiveness in spite of all I've done. You've healed me inside and out from every disease. You've rescued me from hell and saved my life. You've crowned me with love and mercy. You satisfy my every desire with good things. You've supercharged my life so that I soar again like a flying eagle in the sky. You know what that says in the original? You have not just supercharged my life. It says you have renewed my youth and my beauty. <laughs> you are living in a renewed state today. You might have Medicare. You might be... 50, you might be 40, but I want to tell you, God has renewed your strength and your beauty to do what he's getting ready to do in these last days. So stand up and be accounted ready. Hallelujah. God of covenant, faithful promises. Time and time again, you have proven you'll do just what you said. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak a word.
praise our hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. I raise our hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I raise our hallelujah. Weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and loud, you're gonna hear.
your hand on your heart today. Pray this after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, my heart's wide open. My heart's not hard. I've come to worship the Lord. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. And I open up my heart today. You have all of me, not just part of me. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. And I've come to worship today. I've come to meet you. I thank you that you're a God of mercy and you're a God of strength. You're a supernatural God. I believe in miracles. I believe in the power of God. And I thank you for your presence today. In Jesus' name, I want you to lay your hand on the shoulder of the person next to you. I want you to begin to pray for them right now. Come on, but pray out loud. Just speak a word over them. Lord, I pray for that one on my right. I pray for that one on my left. Come on, speak it out loud. I pray a blessing over your life. I pray the favor of God upon you. Everything that you do shall prosper. God's hands upon your life. You shall be successful. I speak favor over your life. I speak the health and strength of God. Your body's healed in Jesus' name. And I thank you, O oh God, that you're touching them today. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now lift the hand of the Lord. Lord, we pray for our nation today. God, we just rebuke every attack of the enemy. Lord, every spirit, God, that would try to bring this nation down. Get out of our nation in Jesus' name. 
We stand upon the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for spiritual God, uh, success, Lord. Well, Lord, we come against the principalities and powers that try to destroy our nation. Get out of our nation in Jesus' name. We thank you for a great move of God in America. In Jesus' name, hallowed. Now lay your hand on your heart. Pray with me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a great hand today, will you? Hallelujah. How many of you feel God's presence here today? Hallelujah. It's going to be a it's going to be a miracle service today. Before you sit down, go ahead and turn around and greet those around you, if you would, before you sit down. And then we're going to receive our communion. You may be seated. If you need a communion packet you didn't receive one, just raise your hand real high and keep it up, and the ushers will come and serve you. If you need a communion packet, anyone that needs one at all, praise the Lord. You know, in Matthew chapter 5, there was the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, and Jesus spoke those words, and these were the first words. This is the first section of teaching in the book of Matthew. And they're the most, some of the most powerful words that ever have been recorded. And he gives, he gives the Beatitudes. How many of you love the Word of God? Come on, amen. I want you to say this after me. Say, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. What is it? They shall be filled. Say, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Say, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Say, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Come on, everybody say, I'm a peacemaker. Say, wherever I go, whatever I do, I've got the Holy Spirit with me, and I'm a peacemaker. I mean, that's a powerful thing to be a peacemaker, isn't it? Amen. We're going to pray over our communion and receive it this morning. Lord, we thank you, God, for the power of the cross. We thank you, Lord, for the words that you spoke. Your word is mighty. Your word is powerful. Your word releases power in our lives. God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit here today. We thank you, God, for this communion. Most of all, we thank you for the cross, God, and how you forgave our sins. You bled and died that we might have forgiveness of sins. God, we're so thankful for that today. We will not forget. Come on, everybody say that. I will not forget what Jesus has done for me. Amen. Let's eat together. And drink together. Praise God. The usher's going to come and collect your cups. Everybody say, I'm glad to be in church today. Say, this is going to be a miracle service. In Jesus' name, amen. Direct your attention to the screens if you would. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Evangel. We're so glad you chose to worship with us today. We have a ton of exciting upcoming events for you and your family that you don't want to miss out on. Men, don't miss the Wednesday morning time of prayer at 6.30 a.m. with Pastor Rogers. This is a great time of prayer and fellowship and is followed with a delicious breakfast. And ladies, there will be a Thursday night Boots on Prayer meeting on February 16th at 6 p.m. Don't miss either of these great prayer meetings that take place at Evangel Billtown. Unbroken Prayer continues every Monday through Friday as Pastor Bob and Pastor Margaret lead us in a time of passionate prayer on their Facebook page. To join, just search for the Dr. Bob Rogers Facebook page and join us live or at your own convenience. Are you in need of a physical, emotional, or spiritual healing? Well, every Thursday morning at 10 a.m., there are healing rooms available in the Billtown Road Sanctuary. This is an intimate setting with strong believers who are standing in the gap for your breakthrough. Beginning the first week of February, we have multiple Bible and Christian lifestyle classes available for you to sign up for. 
Classes include the tools of intercession, how to know and do the will of God, your time-starved marriage, and operating in the courts of heaven. To sign up for these free classes, go to ewpc.com and click online classes. We hope to see you there. We're excited to have Prophet Gustavo Paez back at Evangel Billtown on February 4th, 5th, and the 9th. Saturday service will be at 6 p.m., Sunday at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5 p.m., and Thursday at 6 p.m. You are not going to want to miss these miracle services. There will be a speeder's lunch meeting on Wednesday, February 8th at noon in the Evangel Billtown Sanctuary. This lunch is completely free, but please bring a side dish or dessert. Evangel Men, we have you covered for breakfast on Saturday, February 11th at 9 a.m. in the Billtown Road Sanctuary. This event is free for all, so bring an appetite and a friend. It's that time of the year where love is in the air, so join us for a special wedding ceremony vow renewal service on Sunday, February 12th for our 9 and 11 a.m. service. This will be a special day for all couples as we renew our love and commitment for one another. Don't miss out. Evangel Singles, we have a fun night of dinner and bowling lined up just for you on Saturday, February 18th. We will be meeting at El Nepal at 5 p.m. on Waterson Trail and then heading over to Kingpin Lanes afterwards. Please RSVP by texting 502 345-9017. Evangelist Billy Burke will be holding three days of miracle services right here at Evangel on February 19th for all Sunday service times and on Monday and Tuesday at 6 p.m. This is a great opportunity to invite a friend or a loved one who is struggling with a physical pain. Come expecting God to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. To keep up with all that's happening here at Evangel, stop by the welcome desk, follow us on social media, or head over to our website, ewpc.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. You in the house of the Lord today. I'd like to ask Pastor Kevin Miller to stand. This is a very special day. Today is his birthday. So let's sing happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Amen. We have, pray he has a blessed, blessed day. I'd like to take a moment and welcome those that are here for the first time. If this is your first opportunity, our ushers have a guest card. And if you'll just lift your hand, they'll be happy to bring it to you right where you're seated. God bless you up here. Hold them up for just a moment as they make their way forward. We wouldn't overlook anyone. So church family, help us make sure we don't miss any guests. Once you receive the card, please take a moment and fill it out. You get it done before we receive the offering, you can drop it in there or you can drop it off at the welcome desk out front. I want to tell you about a new ministry that's beginning. It's to the widows and widowers of our church. It's another layer of pastoral care and networking, and it's going to be led by Lisa Sparrow. Lisa, would you wave your hand? She's going to be helping to coordinate people to provide that kind of care and attention to those uh, who find themselves as a widow or widower. The interesting thing is we need you to be able to notify us if you uh, happen to be a widow. Uh, we know some of those in our church, obviously, but there's probably some of you we're not aware, and we'd like to make sure we are able to minister to everyone. So if you would, please stop by the table and see Lisa today. And if you want to help with this ministry, you can see her as well. And then we're going to have our healing rooms Thursday morning, 10 a.m., and then Thursday night will be another service with Apostle Gustavo Paez. And we don't want you to miss that. That'll be at 6 o'clock. Now, in between tonight, which you'll be here at 5 tonight, and Thursday, he's going to be ministering at three of our extension churches. He'll be at Charlestown on Monday night, Corner of Hope on Tuesday night, and he'll be at Evangel North on Wednesday night. If you need the addresses for any of those locations that would like to go, you can go to our website, ewpc.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page. You can find the appropriate one for the night you're looking, or you can stop out at the welcome desk. We've prepared a sheet out there that has those addresses you can put into your GPS if you'd like to do so. Next Sunday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, there will be a meeting before the evening service for those that are going to Israel. 
This is a very important meeting as you'll get the final details before departure. So please meet Pastor Bob and Margaret there in e Bean at 4 o'clock next Sunday. And then one final announcement. Darren, would you wave your hand here just a moment? Darren leads a, a class or small group called Living Free. It's a Christ-centered program for those wanting to overcome life-controlling issues, uh, dealing with addictions, etc. And you can be a part of that and find freedom from those addictions uh, by joining with him beginning Saturday, February 25th. They are at, it's at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning for an hour. And we encourage you to go out to the welcome desk and sign up. And of course, if you have any questions, you can see Darren. At this time, would you help me welcome our pastor as he comes, Dr. Bob Rogers. Praise the Lord. I'd like to make a correction on uh, one of those announcements. It's tonight at 4 o'clock if you're going to Israel. If you meet us next week, you'll have missed the trip. So uh, be sure at 4 o'clock this evening. Again, we wel welcome everyone here. And it's an honor to, to uh, be your pastor. I want to say uh, Brother uh, Richard uh, Jones, he pastors a great church in St. Louis. Stand up, Brother Richard, we're glad to have him here. Praise God. i like for those members of Evangel's state championship basketball team to stand up. I want to give them a great big hand. There's some of our fellows right there. Thank you. In Class A uh, tournament, I think it's, uh, the school has to be about 600 students uh, or less qualifies them for Class A. And Evangel was the smallest of all the Class A schools, and they won the state championship last Sunday, was the finals. Uh, I was there on the semifinals, and uh, they were behind until timeout was called at 3.33. And I said, well, that's it for them. And then the uh, it all turned around. The angels of basketball took the, uh, took the court. They're playing, the uh, fact is, a team that was, pre, that was rated preseason number one, Ballard. They're playing them at uh, 7 o'clock Friday night at our gym. So I want to encourage those that can to come. Amen. Um, next Sunday is going to be the largest wedding in Louisville going to happen right here. And we're going to um, have an exchange, uh, a renewing of your vows. And we have seven wonderful couples that will be all dressed. It, it's going to be just a beautiful time. Now, if you are not married, but you want to get married or need to get married, and you let me know, you can be a part of that. But I have to know, I have to see the license, I have to look at it, and uh, it won't cost you anything. It'll be quick, but uh, it'll, be, it'll be done. Hallelujah. Sometimes people have come to me and said, Pastor, I just don't know how to get married. Well, I do, and I can help you to get married. And uh, uh, God wants you to be married. Amen? Uh, we don't live with one another. We're Christian people. We honor God. We honor marriage. And everybody said, Amen. praise the Lord, between a man and a woman. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now I lost what I was going to say next. Hallelujah. How many have never been in a service with Brother Gustavo before? This will be your first service. First time. Can I see you in a number of people? There's a real healing anointing in this room and a real presence of God here. Um, if you need a healing, I don't, uh, I don't care what kind of healing it is, to some measure, you're going to be healed today. Some of you may be healed 100%. Some may get a 20% healing. You say, what does that mean? Well, it means you feel 20% better 
this pain may still be there. Some of the sickness may still be there. Well, you claim that by faith. So you're 80% healed by faith, 20% by fact. But then tomorrow, you'll be 50% healed by faith. 50% healed by fact. Before the week is over, you'll be 100% healed. That's how generally healing comes. It just doesn't all come at one time. It comes in measures as you accept it and receive it in the name of the Lord. So this is going to be a fantastic time. And then on Thursday, we have our healing rooms. And if you know people who have cancer, diabetes, any type of sickness... They don't have to be a member of this church. They don't have to go to any church. But at 10 o'clock on Thursday mornings, we soak them in prayer. We believe God with them. And you see one of the highest levels, percentage-wise, of people that get healed. It's incredible. And so, praise the Lord. Well, guess what time it is? It's offering time. Now, what we do every year, we start our year off with 21 days of prayer and fasting. And many people this year have gone on for 40 days. And that simply means that uh, about this time, this week, the 40 days will be up on some. Some just have a few more days. And uh, incredible things happen. And at the end of a fast, I have people to plant a seed, a significant seed that cost them something. I never read that in a book. Nobody ever told me to do that except the Lord. And he, he told, he started out, he told me to do that. And so I took all that I had in the bank. I didn't have very much, but I gave what I had. It's about $2,000. I gave that to the Lord and I ended up after that was able to buy a, um, I think it was 26 units. It was a, an apartment building. And I kept that and then I sold it and made about $250,000. Now God did that for me at the conclusion of a fast. And so um, I went to preach this past week and I went to preach for a, a person, and, uh, and they wanted me to take an offering. And so uh, I told them what God had spoken to me at the end of this fast. God told me, he asked me, he said, can you believe that I'll bless you a thousand times more? Deuteronomy 111. And uh, I told that to Margaret. I said, Margaret, I feel like God spoke this to me. Can can God bless us a thousand times more? I said, it's kind of hard for me to get my arms around that. And she said, well, I believe that God can. And so then God gave me two examples. One was the uh, time when Elijah, he didn't have any food and he came to the widow woman and she made him a cake and fed him herself and her son two times a day uh, for two and a half years, almost 6,000 meals. It was a multiplication rate of 19,000 times more. God bless that woman. And then God blessed the little boy who just had his lunch basket, the loaves and the fishes. And the Bible says that God blessed that and he fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children, and almost every commentary I've read said there was probably 30,000 people. So God blessed him 30,000 times more. And God said, you think I'm going to have trouble blessing you a thousand times more? So I said, all right. I believe God's going to bless me a thousand times more. So I told that story. That pastor who wanted me to take an offering. Well, the guy came up and he said, look, he said, Four times you've come here and our pastors ask you to take an offering at the end of the fast. And I've given every time. He said, I gave 5,000. I gave 10,000. 
He said, I've given more this time. I pledged it. He said, I didn't have it, but I pledged it. And by, by the time frame, I, I had it. In every case, I've made a million dollars every year that I've planted what God told me to plant. So I make no apologies when I ask you, not that we even have to have your money. God doesn't have to have your money, but you need to plant seeds. And I'm going to get blessed a thousand times more. How many other people here believe in God for a thousand times more? Come on, raise your hand. How many say, Pastor, I don't believe that? Well, keep your hand to yourself. <laughs> and so to do that, you've got to cast your nets into the deep. Now, that's what God told Peter. He said, cast your nets into the deep. That's where the big fish are. The $25 seed offering is a fine offering, but you're fishing for you're fishing for crappie. You're fishing for bluegill. The deep is where you plant a seed of a thousand, where you see plant a seed greater. And you're believing for God to give you a home. For God to open a business. For God to do something so supernatural that, you know, you could never afford to do it. God has to step up. Amen? So if you have gone through this time of fasting and you have not had the opportunity to plant a seed, if you'll hold your hand up, the ushers will give you a special envelope for that. And whatever that amount is, is between you and the Lord. And, uh, and uh, you, uh, you if, it's, if you don't have the money, we'll plant what you can. And you have until uh, Easter to get that pledge. And at Easter, if you don't have it all, you're forgiven. So that's between you and the Lord. But if you need an envelope, hold your hand up for that special seed giving. Most people, I think, have given or planted, those who want to. But praise God. Let's all stand, everybody standing. <clears throat> Turn your attention to our screens as we make this uh, declaration. Lord Jesus, I come into your house, not empty-handed, but bringing my tithes and offerings according to Malachi 3.10. The windows of heaven are open to me. Blessings are being poured out that I cannot contain. The devourers rebuke for my sake. This year is a continuation of the Jubilee blessings. By faith, I have a better job promotions, raises, bonuses, and benefits, business opportunities, sales, and commission increases, inheritances, rebates, settlements, checks in the mail. I expect favor, interest, royalties, and scholarships, gifts, surprises, and newfound monies. I'm using wisdom and self-control in my spending. My bills are decreasing and my income is increasing. I have the anointing for blessings, equipping me to be a giver for the kingdom of God. All my needs are met and there is no lack. I have power to create wealth. The favor of God's upon me and everything I put my hand to will prosper. I'm a cheerful giver, sowing in good ground that's bringing souls into the kingdom of God and my God supplying all my needs. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Raise your right hand. Say, Lord Jesus, I love to give. Let this offering be more than enough to meet every need. Not almost enough, not barely enough, but more than enough. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. God bless these ushers today. God bless you as you come.
Sean, come up here just a minute. I want you to meet one of our, our deacons. He also is in charge of the greeters and so forth. Introduce yourself, Sean. My name is Sean Litvak, and my wife is over there, Lauren Litvak. Uh, they have, um, uh, he has a program online. How often, uh, how can they catch that program? So you can go to YouTube, LinkedIn, or Facebook at 12.30 on Fridays to watch Litvak Leadership Live. So he has written a book, and... Um, Tell them the name of the book. Name of the book is Proverbs for Leadership. And it is now the number one book in Canada. And where else? And in the U.S. I achieved number one status in Canada for Christian ministry and number one bestseller in the U.S. for Christian professional growth. So. Praise God. If you'd like to purchase that book, how could you do it? You can go to Amazon.com. The book launch price for the Kindle of only 99 cents is good until the end of today. Then it's going up. And at the same time it goes up, tomorrow the paperback version will be available on Amazon. So today's your last day to get it for 99 cents. One more time. What's the name? Proverbs for Leadership. Amen. Everybody Amen. say it with me. Proverbs for Leadership. Give Sean a great big God hand. Bless. Congratulations, Sean. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, tonight, the service is at 5 p.m. And then Monday, uh, Brother Gustavo will be in Charlestown. Uh, on Tuesday, he will be at the Corner of Hope. Wednesday, he will be at Evangel North. That's over in Clarksville. And Thursday, he'll be back here. All services uh, Monday through Thursday are at 6 p.m. And of course, tonight is 5 o'clock. Let's give Brother Gustavo a great big hand as he comes now and ministers. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Al tamaño de tu aplauso será tu milagro. At the level of your applause will be your miracle. Al tamaño de tu grito de júbilo será tu victoria. Will be your victory. Al tamaño de tu grito de júbilo será tu victoria. Victory. Victory. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Gloria a Dios. <laughs> Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Uno, dos, tres, probando. Sí, seis, siete, ocho. Amen. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> en el nombre de Jesús. Funciona. Funciona. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Al tamaño de tu grito At de the juego, level of your shout of praise será tu victoria. will be your victory. One day a lady asked me, why do you scream so loud? Si Dios, Dios no es sordo. He's not deaf. Y yo le dije, Pero tampoco es nervioso. But he's not nervous either, I told her. <laughs> eh, gritamos para despertar al que está al lado. So we scream that loud because we need to wake up, you know, the person that is next to us. <laughs> Por si se duerme. Just in case. Todo en la vida comienza con una palabra Everything profética. Life starts with a prophet. La Biblia comenzó con un imposible. The Bible starts with an impossible impossibility. Todo era imposible. Everything was impossible. La tierra estaba desordenada. The, the earth was formless. Era un imposible. It was something impossible. Pero el Espíritu del Señor but se the movía Spirit sobre la of tierra. God was moving around the earth. Dios se mueve sobre tu imposible. That means God is moving even through your impossible circumstances. Oh, creo que usted está dormido aquí. I, I think you're not listening to what I'm Dios saying. Dios se mueve sobre God lo imposible. God moves even through your heart or impossibilities in your life. Amen. 
Dios se mueve sobre tu imposible. God moves even if you're going through something impossible. Dios se mueve sobre lo imposible. God moves even through the impossible. Si esta mañana tú tienes un imposible, so this morning there is an impossibility in your life. Dios se va a mover. God is going to move. Dios comenzó a moverse. Su espíritu se movió so sobre lo imposible. God start moving. His spirit was moving around. Por eso es que Dios va siempre a buscar lo imposible tuyo para volverlo posible. That's why God is always looking the impossible in you to make it possible. Un día el Señor en el libro de Ezequiel capítulo 37. One day, Ezekiel chapter 37. El Señor tomó al profeta Ezequiel. God spoke to Ezekiel. Y lo llevó a un imposible. And he took him to an impossible place. Dice, movido por el Espíritu, fue a un valle de huesos secos. It says that he took Ezekiel from one place to a valley of dry bones. Diga, imposible. Say with me, impossible. Esta mañana... This morning, Dios te va a llevar al lugar de lo imposible. God is going to take you to the place of the impossible. Porque tú eres la respuesta de Dios para que se haga posible. Because you are the answer from God to make it possible. Y la palabra profética and the prophetic word va a cambiar las cosas. It's going to change all things. Porque si yo creo lo que digo, se crea lo que quiero. Because if I believe what I'm saying, then I can create what I want. Entonces, hoy, sobre dos chicos hay un milagro. So today, there is a miracle happening on those two kids. Sobre dos muchachos. Two kids. Dios me dice, God is telling me, tus hijos me servirán. Your children will serve me. Tu casa me servirá. Your house will serve me. Estoy sanando. I am healing you. Por el poder del Espíritu. By the power of the Spirit. Por el poder del Espíritu. By the power of the Spirit. Hoy. Today. Hoy. Today. Hoy. Today. Hay un imposible. There is an impossibility and it's going to be changed. Hay un imposible. I'm doing something and you're impossible. Y cuando yo cuente tres, and when I count to three, tú vas a correr. you're going to start running. Era imposible. It was impossible. Uno. But now it's going to be El possible. Dios va a hacer huesos. One. New bones. Dos. Two. Dios está sanando tu cabeza. He is healing your head. Tres. Three. Run, 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 corre. run. Corre. Run, 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 corre. Run, corre. Run, corre. Run, corre. Run, corre. Run, corre. Run, run. Corre. Porque hay un imposible. El poder God de Dios está sobre tu vida. And he's making it possible. El Espíritu de Dios se the, mueve sobre imposible. The Spirit of God always will move over the impossible. Yo no sé tu valle de huesos secos. I don't know the valley of dry bones that you're going through. Pero el Espíritu del Señor But the Spirit of God está aquí. Is here. Has orado por tu casa. You've been praying for your house. Estás orando por tus hijos. You're praying for your children. Y Dios me dice And God tells me que este es el día de Dios para ti. That this is your day. Para tu familia. This is the day for your family. Para tus hijos. For your children. Come on, worship God. Worship God. Let's Dios worship God. Siempre va a hacer algo imposible. God is always moving in your impossibility. El Espíritu de Dios está moviendo. The Spirit of God is moving right now. Por el Espíritu de Dios está haciendo cosas grandes. The Spirit of God is doing great things. 
tus oraciones your prayers han llegado delante have de mí. come before me says the Lord Llevas luchando cinco años. you've been fighting for the last five years y Dios me dice, and God tells me Hoy es el día today donde lo is your day for your miracle Se hace posible. it's going to be possible Hoy. today por eso el número cinco tiene que ver contigo. that's why number five is related with you por eso el mes de mayo tiene que ver contigo. Por eso junio tiene que ver un cumpleaños en tu casa. Like y Dios me dice, me, hoy today es el día de lo imposible. ¿Quién viene? ¿Quién viene con Mi esposo. Dios me dice, God is telling me no te preocupes don't worry tu hija me servirá your daughter she will serve me tú viniste con tus hijos también you came with your children today pero tu hija me servirá but your daughter she will serve me las lágrimas que tú has derramado your tears the tears that you cry Hoy el Señor las quita. Today God is removing Por una razón. You, just for one reason. Porque yo te amo. Because I love you. Porque tú nunca has negado nada para Because mí. Because you never deny nothing to me. Mi espíritu está sobre ti. My spirit is Estoy all over sanando you. tu corazón. I am healing your heart. Estoy sanando tu corazón. I am healing your heart. Rapa pa ta rapa que ta rapa pa ca ta rapa caia. Hay un imposible. God is moving in the impossible. El profeta fue llevado a un lugar de imposible. So God took him to the dry, to the valley of Hay una noticia de lejanas tierras que vienen para ustedes. There are good news that are coming from far away land for you. Viene algo muy grande para ustedes. Something big is coming. Hay un milagro en un niño. There's a miracle in a little boy. ¿Con quién vienen? Who else came with you? Is this your husband right here? No? ¿Con quién vienen? Who else came with you? Who came with you? Your mom? Escucho un, un nombre como David, como Denny. I hear the name David or Denny. Y, y, y dice el Señor esta palabra. And God says this word. Estoy sanando tu corazón. I am healing your heart. Lo hirieron. They hurt you. Maltrataron tu corazón. They mistreated you. Y tú has estado diciéndole Señor. And you've been saying God. Estoy cansada. I'm tired. Y Tuviste una lucha hace tres días en tu casa. Uh, three days ago, you went through a hard circumstance in your Hubo house. una discusión. You had like a fight. ¿Es cierto o no es cierto? Uh, is that true? Yes. Yes. Y Dios me dijo. And God tells me. Yo no estoy en la pelea, en la lucha no estoy. En, la, en los pleitos, en, los pe, en las peleas no estoy. I'm not in the middle of those fights. Por una razón, tú, quieres, for one tú quieres hacer las cosas a tu manera. You do your way. Pero dice el Señor, like says, no hagas las cosas a tu don't manera. Do it on your way. Yo te voy a bendecir. I'm gonna bless you. Yo te voy a levantar. I'm gonna bless you. Te veo en un viaje, te veo I viajando. See you traveling. Estoy viendo un viaje. I, I see a trip. Algo que están programando. Something that you've been talking about. Pero tiene que ver contigo. And it's related with you. Dice el Señor, And God says, mi gloria está sobre ti. Mi gloria está sobre ti. Hay poder. There is power. El Espíritu de Dios está liberando. The Spirit of God is doing something. Porque Dios se mueve en lo imposible. Because He will always move in your impossible. El Espíritu de Dios está aquí. The Spirit of God is here. Me dice el Señor. God tells me. Oí tus lágrimas. I heard your cry. Vi tus lágrimas. I saw your tears. Por ella. For her. Has hablado con ella. Pero no has encontrado razones. Ella no te hace razones. To to her, Pero hoy, today, el profeta ha venido para dar una palabra. Hoy today, comienza de nuevo. Today, she comienza de nuevo. All over again. Hoy, you will all over again. Today. aprende a celebrar el milagro you que need Jesús to hace. Learn how to celebrate your miracle with anticipation. Esta mañana yo decía algo. This morning I said something. Cuando veníamos para la iglesia. Oh, when we, we were having a conversation when we were coming to the church. Sin saber Dios me habló. And without knowing God spoke Porque to me. Porque Dios habla de diferentes maneras. Because God speaks through, you know, different ways. 
Tú vas por ahí caminando, you walk around y ves un letrero, and you read something y Dios te habla. and God can speak to you through that you know, la sign. Emisora, uh, you turn the radio on y Dios te habla. and God is able to speak through the radio. El televisor, you turn the TV on y Dios te habla. and God is able to talk to you through TV, right? A veces estás en el baño, Sometimes you're in the bathroom y Dios te habla. and God is able to speak to you. Dios te habla. God's all, is always speaking to you. Ah, sí están poniendo cuidado. Okay, you're listening to what I'm saying. Okay, now I know. Dios habla. God speaks. Y veníamos en el carro. And we were coming, you know, to church y, this morning. Y Dios, y, y Dios me habló a través de Ricardo. And, and God spoke to me through Ricardo. Porque Ricardo dijo algo. Because Ricardo said something. Nunca había pensado en eso. I never thought about that. Me dijo, el lugar donde la gente no cree en Dios. He told me the only place where people don't believe in God. ¿Cuál es el lugar donde la gente no cree en Dios? We were talking about, you know, something. Uno pensaría que es en el mundo. And, and you will think the place that where they don't believe in God is the world. Pero él me dijo, en la iglesia. But he told me the place where they don't believe in God is in the church. Y cuando yo venía, yo llegué aquí a la iglesia. And when I came to church. Y yo dije, Señor, esa I palabra. I said, Lord, that word. Confirmamela. Con confirm that word. Yes. Yes. Dios hace milagros. God is doing miracles. Yo nunca he hablado con ellos. I never spoke to her before. Jamás he hablado con ustedes. I never spoke with you before. Dios está haciendo milagros. God is doing miracles. Y la gente está diciendo así. And some people are saying. ¿Quién sabe? Uh, who knows? Confírmame. Confirm, Lord. Confírmame, confirm, Señor. Confirm, confirm, Mr. Judy. No creen Dios. They don't believe in God. Viene a la iglesia. They come to church. Para que Dios haga un milagro. For God to make a miracle. Y estás dudando de lo que Dios está haciendo. And you're doubting what God is doing. Si estuvieras en un partido de basketball. If you were in a basketball game. Tú estarías, ah. You were like just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero estás en la iglesia. But you're in church. Y estás. And you're like. Si estuvieras en el Super Bowl. If you were watching the Super Bowl. Ah. Se pinta la cara. You, do, you know, face painting and everything. Si alguien le va a hablar. And if somebody wants to talk to you while you're watching the game. No, 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 Cuatro años. Cuatro años. Four years. Este conoce todas tus intimidades. He knows all your intimacies. Porque el trabajo de él. Because his job. Es buscar la persona que esté concentrada. He's, he's looking for the person that is concentrated. Entonces, pre te pregunto. Concentrating. So I ask you this. Confírmame, por favor. Tell me yes or no. Si has encontrado este tipo de personas. Tell me uh, if you found this kind of people while you, are, con la cámara. while you are going around with your camera. Mirando. Me confirma. Yeah, okay, so yes or no. Yes. Yes. Sirve eso para televisión? Can you do you do you record when you find someone doing something like that? No. Por una razón. For one reason. Porque aunque usted no reconozca el trabajo de él, because even if you don't recognize his job, él está evangelizando para Jesús. He is speaking about the good news for Jesus through this camera. Él está predicando para He Jesús. is preaching through this camera. Otros están con el celular. So have you seen people doing that? All the time. All the Hello? time. Jesús, espérame un minuto, Jesús. Jesus, wait. Wait, wait a minute, Jesus. Ya te wait. wait, 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 wait. Ya te Let me finish this call. No creen Dios. They don't believe in God. Otro está haciendo milagros aquí. 
God is doing miracles here. Y está con la esposa. And he's doing this with his wife. Y con el esposo. And he's doing this with, with, with her husband. Y él con la cámara. And he's with the camera. He's going around. Hoy no vinieron. But those people didn't come to church this morning. They're not here. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque no creen. Because they don't believe. Pero llega alguien nuevo a la iglesia. But someone that comes for the first time. No le importa si vino fulano, sutano. They don't care or that person doesn't care. Llega a la iglesia. Who came to church? Espíritu Santo. They come and they say, Holy Yo Spirit. Yo te quiero. I want you. Te anhelo. I want you. Espíritu Santo. Holy Spirit. Te amo. I love you. Y él va con la cámara. And he goes with the camera. Porque ella está llevando fe a la gente que Because está en la casa. Because what she's doing is she's sending faith to the person that is watching through that camera. Te has acostumbrado tanto a Jesús. You got used to Jesus. That's what happened. Que ya no lo valoras. So you don't value what you have anymore. Como cuando tú te acostumbras a tu esposa. Like when you, you know, just, you just get used to your marriage. Cuando tú estás recién casado o enamorado. When you're in love or you just got married. God. Oh my God, Dios mío. En la sala, in the, en la cocina, in the living room, in the kitchen, en todo lado, everywhere. <laughs> Te amo, mi amor. I, I love you. Ahora, but now, okay. why? Valóralo. Value what you have. Esta semana, this week, Dios me dijo, God told me, será la semana de lo imposible. This will be the week of the impossible. Yo lo haré posible. I'm gonna make it possible. Yo lo haré posible. I will make it possible. Si tú puedes creer hoy, if you believe today, hoy, today, hoy, today, hoy, today, hoy, today, 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 will make a miracle. Si puedes creer hoy, If you can believe, hoy tú harás milagros. today he will make a miracle. Si estuvieras en un concierto, If you were in a concert, ah! en la iglesia, but in church, Aplauso y medio. One clap and a half. Si no te gusta, ve avisándome. If you don't like it, tell me. Let me know. Jesús llega. Jesus. Y dice, aquí no soy celebrado. He comes to a place and he says, I'm not celebrated here. Me voy de esta casa. I'm going to leave this place. ¿Cuánto hace que no lo celebras? How long ago you celebrated him the last time? Porque Jesús te celebra a ti. Because he's always celebrated you. Te voy a contar algo. I'm going to tell you something. Tú no. fuiste un milagro. You were a miracle from God. En un hospital Dios hizo un milagro para ti. In a hospital God made a miracle for you. Dios hizo un milagro. He did a miracle for you. Y te trajo el Señor hoy. And God brought you here. A decirte que te sigue amando. To tell you that He still loves you. Que te sigue amando. He loves you. Te sigue amando. He still loves you. Te ama. He loves you. Te ama demasiado. He loves you so much. Y hoy. And today, lo impossible, the impossible, será posible. Will be possible. Tu casa me Your house will serve me.
Tu casa me serve. Your house will serve me. Y estoy sanando tu cuerpo. I, I am healing your body. Estoy sanando tu cuerpo. I am healing your body. Estoy sanando tu cuerpo. I am healing your body. Veo dos jóvenes. I, I see two young kids. Me dice el Señor. And, and God tells tus oraciones. Me, your prayers. Han llegado delante have de mí. Come before me. Yo voy a cambiar tu casa. I'm going to change your house. Yo voy a cambiar tu hogar. I'm going to change your home. Llevas siete años. For the last seven years. Siete años. Seven years. Luchando. You've been fighting. Luchando. You've been fighting. Has perdido dos veces. You lost twice. Y una vez, and one of them. Yo te libré de la muerte. I guard you from death. Una vez. One time. Me dice el Señor. And God tells hoy me. Te voy a sanar. I'm going to heal you. Voy a restaurar tu hogar. I'm bringing restoration to your house. Voy a restaurar tu familia. I'm bringing restoration to Por your una family razón. for just one reason. Porque en mi nombre. Because in my name. En mi nombre. In my name. En mi nombre. My name. Mi nombre. My name. Es sobre todo nombre. It's above all names. Mi nombre. My name. Es sobre todo It's nombre. It's above all names. Mi nombre. My name. Es sobre It's todo nombre. It's above all names. Mi nombre. My name. Mi nombre. It's above es sobre todo all nombre. names. Mi nombre. My name. Come on, worship him, worship him. Praise him. Worship him. Jesus Christ. Oh. What a powerful name it is. Oh, Gloria. Nothing can stand it. Su nombre. His name. Listen. No puedes hacer algo en tu nombre. You cannot do something in your name. Hasta que el nombre de Jesús no se te revele, no puedes hacer nada. Until Jesus' name is not revealed to you, you cannot do nothing. Porque Jesús. No es algo, Jesús es alguien. Because he's not something, but he is someone. Jesús no hace parte del culto. Jesus is not just another part of the service. Es el dueño de la reunión. He owns the meeting. Leí en la Biblia. I read in the Bible que había unos hombres, los hijos de Exeba, that the sons or the children of Exeba y andaban liberando gente. They were praying for people. Y dice la Biblia, and the Bible says que vieron la fila that they saw a line donde Pablo echaba fuera demonios. You know where people were waiting for Paul to pray for them. El apóstol Pablo echaba fuera demonios. The apostle Paul was rebuking all demons. Y ellos llegaron. So they came. Y dijeron, wow. And they said, wow. ¿Cómo es que usted lo hace? How do you do it? Míralo, obsérvalo. Look. Y Pablo decía, en el nombre de Jesús, sal fuera. And Paul was saying, in the name of Jesus, out. El problema es que ellos eran ambulantes. The problem is that they were just, you know, going from place to place. Son personas que no tienen estabilidad espiritual. So that means there were people that didn't have any stability. They never stayed in one place. They ambulan de un lado a otro. They were going from a place to another place. Y dijeron, 
Wow, es en el nombre and, de Jesús. And they ask Paul, uh, so it's in the name of Jesus that we del que predica Pablo. Th th that Paul preaches about that we can do it? Okay. Okay. Tráigame esos tres demonios que hay ahí. So they went and picked, you know, three people. Uno solo, tráelo. And they bring one of them. En el nombre de Jesús del que said, predica Pablo. In the name of Jesus, the one that Paul is preaching. Y los demonios dijeron. And the demons said. Me confundiste. Uh, I'm a little bit confused here. Nosotros sabemos quién es Pablo. We know who Paul is. Y a Jesús ni no lo menciona. And of course, Jesus doesn't even mention that name to us. Y ustedes, but you, ¿quiénes son? Who are you? Who are you? ¿Quién eres? Ah, uh, yo llevo 50 años en la iglesia. Oh, I've been in church 50 years. Yo ayuno 50 días. Oh, I fast 50 days. Yo soy Superman. Oh, I am Superman. Y el demonio dijo, and the demon said, a ustedes no los conozco. I don't know you. En el mundo espiritual, in the spiritual world, usted tiene una historia. You have a story. En el mundo espiritual saben de usted. In the spiritual world, they know about you. En el mundo espiritual conocen de usted. They know you in the spiritual world. Saben quién eres tú. They know who you are. Tú puedes venir y sentarte aquí. You come and sit here. Pero en el mundo espiritual. But in the spiritual world. Te conocen. They know you. Por eso. Es importante que usted sepa That's why it's important que Jesús no es algo, for es alguien. For you to understand that Jesus is not something but is someone. Y él va a hacer algo en alguien. And, and he is going to do something in someone. Yo no sé si hay alguien aquí. I don't know if there is somebody here this morning que necesita un milagro. That needs a miracle. Hoy Jesús quiere revelarse a su vida. Today Jesus wants to be revealed to your life. A veces queremos ser más listos que Dios. Sometimes we want to be smarter than God. Él sabe cuando tú cantas. He knows when you sing. Él sabe lo que tú hablas. He knows what you speak. Él sabe que te viniste peleando con tu esposo. He knows that you came this morning to church after a big argument with your spouse. Él sabe he knows que la persona que está al lado that the person that is next to you no andamos bien. It's not doing very well. Y Jesús dice and Jesus says si no caben aquí en la tierra no caben en el cielo. If there is no place for you on earth then there won't be a place for you in heaven. Jesús está aquí. Jesus is here. Hoy, today, Jesús te llama. Jesus is calling you. Quiere que tú lo conozcas. He wants you to know him. Quiere que tú vengas a él. He wants you to come to him. Quiere que te olvides de ti. He wants you to forgive about yourself. Vas a pelear con el Espíritu Santo. And you're not gonna fight with the Holy Spirit anymore. Hoy, today, vas a pelear con el Espíritu Santo. Recibelo. You will fight with Hoy, the Holy Spirit today. Vas a pelear con el Espíritu. You will fight with the Holy Spirit. Hoy vas a venir y vas a decir, Señor. You will come and say, Lord. No es en mi fuerza. It's not by my es con tu own Espíritu. strength, but it's by your Spirit. Termino con esto. Termino con esto. And I'm done. Yo le dije al Señor un día. I told God one day. Dios. I said, Lord. Yo leí lo que le pasó a Ana que no tenía nada. I read what happened to Hannah in the Bible. No tenía nada. She didn't have nothing. Y ella dijo que si tú le dabas un hijo, and she prayed to you and she told you if you give me a son, ella lo iba a ofrendar. I will give it back. I will give him back to you as an offering. Es más difícil dar un hijo que un carro. It's very difficult to give a son 
And it's more difficult to give a son than a car. Yo, yo ya tengo hijos. I, I have children myself. Pero en ese entonces yo no tenía carro. But when I read that, I didn't have a car. Le dije, Dios. So I told him, si tú me das un carro, I said, Lord, if you give me a car, en 24 horas lo voy a ofrendar. In 24 hours, I will show it back to you. Lo dije a las 11 de la mañana. I said that at 11 a.m. in the morning. A la 1 de la tarde. 1 p.m. Vino un hombre. A man came. Y me dijo. And he told me. Profeta. Prophet. Tú me diste una palabra. You gave me a word. Que venía una bendición. And you told me that a blessing was coming to my life. Y vino la bendición. And it came. Y yo vine a sembrarle este carro. And I'm here to give you this car to you. Dije, para mí. And I said, for me. Yo, sí. Yes. Tómalo. He. Un Mazda 626. Here you go, Mazda 626. Full equipo. Full equipo, en cuero, todo. Yeah, todo premium dinero. package, everything. Leather seats, everything. Dije, para mí. And I said, for me. Yo, sí. Yes. Mañana le hago los papeles. So I'm going to give you the title tomorrow. Cogí las llaves. I took the keys. Me fui al parcadero. I went to the parking lot. Gritaba. I was celebrating. Esto funciona. Oh, this is really works. Hay que creerle a Dios. Oh, we need to believe in God. Oh, hay que creerle a Dios. Oh, we need to believe God. Llamé a los pastores. I called my pastors. Le dije, esto funciona. I told them this works. Si tú haces una promesa a Dios, if you promise something to the Lord, él te la va a cumplir. He will answer your prayers. Al otro día, so the next day, me levanté en la mañana. I woke up in the morning, contento con mi carro. Oh, let me see my car. Y escuché una voz que And me I dijo, heard a voice that told me, 24 horas. 24 hours. No. I said no. Esto es de mi cabeza. No, no, no. This, this is just thoughts that I'm having right now. Porque nosotros queremos ser más listos que Dios. Because we want to be smarter than God. 11 de la mañana. 11 a.m. Yo le dije Dios. I said, Lord. Vamos a hacer algo. Let's do something. Yo voy a redimir el carro. I'm gonna redeem the car. Voy a pagarlo poco a poco. I'm gonna pay it. A la ofrenda a la iglesia. And I'm gonna give an offering every week. 24 horas. And he told me 24 hours. Dije está bien. I said okay. Está bien. Okay. Vamos a hacer algo. Let's do something. Voy a darle a alguien que no lo necesita. I'm going to give this car to someone that doesn't need this car. Porque si no lo necesita, me lo va a devolver. Because if that person doesn't really need it, I'm going to get it back. Queremos ser más listos que Dios. We want to be smarter than God. Le dijo, okay. I said, okay. La segunda, nunca está en la ciudad. The second thing that, that I'm going to do is I'm going to call someone that that person is never in the city. He's Nunca never. contesta el teléfono. And he never answers the phone. Entonces yo dije, so I said to myself, cuando yo lo llame, when I call him, en el primer pito, en el primer sonido, the first ring, me tiene que he needs to answer. Si no me contesta, If he doesn't answer, no es de Dios. it's not from the Lord. Y me quedo con el carro. And I'm going to keep my car. Segundo. Tercero. Third thing. Él me debe decir que está en Bogotá. That person or he's going to tell me that he's not in Bogotá, in the city where I am. Pero si está en Bogotá, But if he's in Bogotá, es de Dios. then it's from God. Marqué. So I call him. 24 horas. God told me 24 hours. Antes que se cumplía las 24 horas, so llamé. before the 24 hours, I called this person. Tan pronto entró el primer pito. First ¡Sí! ring. Hello, apostle. Hello, apostle. Hola, ¿cómo estás? I say, hey, how are you? ¿Cómo te ha ido? How you doing? ¿Dónde estás? What are you? En Bogotá. I'm in Bogotá. No. No. Me imagino que estás ocupado. And, and I, I, I think you're busy, right? Estás en reuniones. Uh, you have a lot of meetings today. No te preocupes. Uh, don't worry. No, 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 estoy desocupado. He said, no, 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 come, come. I Lo que tú necesites. Whatever you need, what do you need? Quiero hablar conmigo. You want to talk to me? Sí, sí, quiero hablar contigo. I told him, yes, I want to talk to you. Ya voy para allá. So I'm on my way. Y me fui. I left. Cuando llegué allá. When I came. Apóstol, qué alegría. Oh, Apóstol, how are you doing? Yo no estaba alegre. I, I was not happy at all. Y le dije. And I told him. Mira, uh, um, no, me voy, no me puedo demorar mucho. No listen, me puedo demorar mucho. This is going to be fast. 
Quiero decirte I want to tell you que Dios me dijo that God told me que, que este carro es para ti. that this car belongs to you. Que, que Dios, Dios me dijo God told me que te lo a ti. to sow this car to you. Seguro, no lo necesitas. But I'm pretty sure that you don't need it. Y me dijo, And he said, Gracias. Thank you, Apostle. Si lo necesitas. So you need it? Me dijo, sí. And he said, yes. <laughs> y se puso a llorar. And he started crying. Nadie me ha dado nada. En la vida, nadie me ha dado nada. No one ever gave me something before. My whole life, he told him. Yeah, gloria a Dios. And I said, glory to the Lord. Te felicito. I congratulations. Hasta luego. Bye. Y él salió detrás de mí. So, when I left, he was no, no. following me. Apostle, venga, por and he favor. said, Apostle, please, por favor. stop. Please, please, please. Quiero contarle algo. I want to share something with you. Llegamos al parqueadero. So, we went to the parking lot. Estoy impresionado. And he said, he told me, I'm impressed. Llevo tres días. For the last three days. Tres días. Three days. Soñando contigo. I've been having these dreams about you. Peleando con Dios. I, I've been fighting with God. Recuerda que tú me diste una palabra Remember, de un contrato que venía. You, you gave me a word and you told me that I was going to get this contract. Te dije sí. I said yes. Y sabe, apóstol, mi sueño era comprarme una Toyota cero kilómetros. And you know my dream was to own and to buy, you know, a big SUV, a Toyota SUV. La Brand última, el último modelo. The, the last model. Y me lo compré. And I bought it. Una Toyota Coupé. A Toyota Coupé. Color negro. Black. Y cuando estoy acostado. And when I was, you know, uh, in my bed. Dios me dice. God told me. Entregale ese carro a, a mi siervo. Give it to my servant. Yo. And I'm like, me? Cuéntame, cuéntame. Okay, tell me about it. Cuéntame. I want to hear it. ¿De qué se trata todo esto? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Dijo, es que Dios me dijo. He said, well, God told me que le ese carro. to give you this car. Pero yo tenía un But I had a problem. Le dije, Señor, I told him, Lord, voy a tres señales. I'm going to ask you for three signals. Y entre esas señales, que usted me llame. And one of them is going to be, let apostle call me. Que venga a mi the second one, let apostle y to que come me to my un office. Carro. And the third thing, let Apostle to sow a car to me. Si yo no hubiese hecho caso, entonces nunca hubiese recibido. So if I wouldn't obey, you know, I will never receive. Lo mejor. The best. That he had for Cuando me. tú le haces caso a Dios, when you obey God, Dios siempre te dará lo mejor. God will always give you the best. Hoy, today, hay una unción profética. There is aquí. a prophetic anointing. Cierra tus ojos. Close your eyes. Pregúntele a Dios. And ask God, ¿qué es lo imposible? What is the impossible that you're going through today. ¿Qué quieres que Dios haga? Ask God, what do you need? ¿Qué le vas a dar a Dios hoy? What are ¿Qué you vas going to give hoy? to the Lord this morning? ¿Cuál es tu semilla hoy? What is your seed? ¿Qué vas a hacer hoy? What are you going to do? Y vienes al altar, and then come to the altar, te vas a rodillar, on your knees, y le vas a decir al Señor, and you're going to say, Lord, Hoy quiero dejar mi imposible en el altar. Today I want to leave my impossibility here in the altar. Voy a tomar un sobre. I'm going to take an envelope. Y voy a dar una ofrenda. And I'm going to give an offering. Para sellar la palabra. To seal this word. De que viene un imposible. That a miracle is coming to my life. Viene un milagro esta semana. A miracle is coming this week. Viene un milagro esta semana. A miracle is coming this week. Can we have some envelopes? Viene un milagro esta semana. A miracle. Can we have some envelopes? Mientras yo oro. While I'm praying, mientras yo oro, while I'm praying, usted va a dejar su imposible. You're gonna leave your impossibility here. Y va a creer por un milagro. At the altar, you're gonna believe a miracle. Y va a creer por un milagro. You're gonna believe for a miracle. Te vas a arrodillar. You're gonna come on your knees. Y le vas a decir a Dios. And you're gonna say, God, ya no puedo más. I can't do this anymore. Necesito un milagro. I need a miracle. Voy a creer. I'm gonna believe. Mientras yo oro, 
While I'm praying, tú lo vas a hacer. you're going to do it. Te vas a rodillar. You're going to come. Vas a dejar tu imposible ahí. On your knees and you're going to leave your impossibility here vas a at tomar the altar. Un sobre. You're going to take an envelope. Y le vas a decir, Señor, and you're going to say, Lord, necesito un milagro I esta need semana. a miracle. Padre, come. Te doy gracias. come, come, come. Gracias por esta mañana. Thank you for this morning. Aquí dejamos este imposible. Here is our impossibility. Padre, gracias. Lord, thank you. Gracias por tus hijos. Thank you for your children. Porque hoy venimos a dejar nuestro imposible. We are here. Gracias, we Señor. We are bringing our impossibility. Te pedimos perdón. Lord. We ask you forgiveness. Te pedimos perdón. We ask you forgiveness. Porque hemos confiado. Because we trust en nuestras propias fuerzas. In our own strength. En nuestra manera in our own ways y te pedimos perdón. and we ask your forgiveness Aquí en este lugar, right now in this dejo place mi problema. I live my problems dejo mi lucha. I live my fights dejo mi dificultad. I live my difficulties Dios, esta semana God un this week Quiero un milagro. I want a miracle Yo quiero un milagro. I want a miracle que se termine todo problema en nuestra casa I don't want any more problems in my house. Que se termine toda dificultad en nuestra casa. No more difficulties in my home. Señor, Lord, yo no puedo. I can't do this anymore. Tú puedes. But you can. Tú puedes. You are able to do yo it. Yo no puedo. I can't. Tú puedes. But you can. Lo segundo que quiero que hagas. The second thing that I want you to do. Tú eres do. un líder. If you're a leader. Pastor. Pastor. Ven ora aquí. Por, Pray. por toda la gente, los pastores. Pray for the people. Poderoso su nombre. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Stretch your hands out. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Father, as they've planted their seeds, God, I call it to come back a thousand times more. Lord, healing, miracles in their families, in their homes in their business, in their children, in their lives, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, pray with me in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Ushers, would you bring the offering plates up here now, the buckets? If you did not get an envelope, you can write a check, but we're going to receive this offering. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ushers, come very quickly, please. Hallelujah.
Anyone need an envelope? Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. They can give you an envelope here. How many have been touched of God? Plant a seed. And it's not that God's miracles are moving our life is for sale. It's not. It's free. But it's important that we say our heart is where our treasure is. And we are planting a seed saying in faith, we believe you, Lord, for what you're getting ready to do. If you would like to plant a seed, and obviously you're part of our online, you weren't here when the offering bucket was passed, but you can go to, e -double, uh, to EWPC.com and there you can give your donation or you can do the uh, text online, uh, the text to give, which they'll bring that number up for you here in just a moment. But we encourage you to do that. And you know, if you count this as your church home, you're part of the Evangel Online Campus, one thing that you need to develop in your Christian discipline is that of tithes and offerings and learn the importance of planting seeds. It will be something that will revolutionize your life as well as keep you in alignment with obedience to the Word of God. This has been a great service, hasn't it? I just love the prophetic anointing. And I'm so grateful that God has brought it into this house. And I want to encourage you to remember tonight at 5 p.m., we'll be streaming again live when Gustavo Paez will be with us again. And then again, Thursday night at 6 o'clock, he will also be with us. And you'll want to be part of that as well. And that is also at 6 p.m. Last week on Wednesday, we had our first online classes for this uh, semester. And it was uh, wonderful, but it's not too late for you to catch in, to catch on and get in. And what we can do, if you would like to uh, start the uh, marriage class, your time starved marriage, and by the way, they even encourage single people to come into this because it will help any relationship that is important to you. And even if you're the husband or the wife and your spouse can't make it for one reason or another, you come, it will absolutely make a difference. And this will be a great spiritual investment in your relationships. That's Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. And if you missed last Wednesday, but wanna come, we will send you the link of the recording of last week's class, and you'll be able to keep uh, proceeding from there. And also last Wednesday at eight, we started seven realities of experiencing God, knowing and doing the will of God. And that was taught by Anna Rose McGill. She's a chaplain. And it was a powerful class. So we encourage you to sign up for both of those. Go to ewpc.com. Scroll down where it says online, campus, or online classes. Click that and it will give you all the information you need. Also, starting tomorrow night, is Tools of Intercession with Prophetic uh, Intercessor Marilyn Susich. It's going to be a powerful time. I'd like to uh, ask our director, I'm springing this on him, do we have that Marilyn interview available? And if so, I'd like for us to play that uh, so that you can hear a little bit about uh, the intercession that she does and what God will impart, I believe, for those that are going to be taking this class. Again, to sign up, you go to ewpc.com and you can sign up there. But let's see if we have that uh, interview with Marilyn and we'll roll that now. I'm here with Marilyn Susich from uh, Peckenham. Did I say that right, Marilyn? Yep, Peckenham, yeah. Peckenham, uh, Victoria, Australia. And she's gonna be one of our teachers on our online classes that start the first week of February. Marilyn's class is called Tools of Intercession, and it begins the first Monday night of February at 7 p.m., and I'll be hosting with her. Basically, I'm just going to be like the little operator guy in the background. Marilyn, ever since I've known you, you've had an anointing on you to intercede, and really, I call you a prophetic intercessor, uh, and by that, Let's I mean the Lord shows you things to come and you mm -hmm. pray them into existence. Uh, tell me your feelings about intercession. Well, I, I, I think it's the most exciting thing that a believer can do. Everyone is called to pray. 
We all know that. All believers are called to pray. Some people are called aside for special purposes, but everyone's called to pray. And everyone has the same saviour, the same creator, the same exciting person to connect to, to direct our prayer, because he is the great intercessor seated at the right end of the Father. So he gives us our directive, and then he creates Sherry for us, a something for us personally. Now, one of the really good things that I think is a tool for intercessors, and that is our character, because we have to exhibit certain things like persistence, boldness, courage all of those things within us as a person is something god develops in us through his creative anointing as we pray you don't just get a big job straight out of the gate so god will give you something and then he'll give you a little bit more precept upon precept line upon line is exactly the same for intercession and that's what makes it exciting when i get up in the morning i do not know what's going to happen and I think sometimes the song services are not think, yay, God, this is awesome. And that song might lead me into something that will change a whole nation, a whole city, a, a, a person, a place or a thing just through the instruction of the Holy Spirit first thing in the morning. And then he will direct it and then he will build upon it. Now, I don't always get everything. I might just get one little itty bitty thing and that's where we start. And well, the Marilyn, same for everybody. Most, you said it's it's one of the most exciting things people can do. Give me an example for that. Like something that's well, happened. Well, one day I was going to you. visit a lady, do a home visitation of a lady that I didn't know very well. And I, I felt weird, Sherry. I was driving along. It was quite away from my home. Driving along, I thought, I feel weird. So I spoke to this other lady in our church, and I said, look, I feel a bit odd. Can you pray for me? I've got to go and see this lady. That's normal procedure if you have some ministry face-to-face. -face. And then as I got into her, her premises, I heard thud, thud, thud. And I thought, oh, no, what's this? Is it to do with the lady? What is it to do with? And then suddenly the Holy Spirit came on me and I just simply was overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit and had to lie down. As I lay down, I started to move and I started to be realised on the I was on the floor of a plane, right in the cockpit. And I was looking at the second officer's pocket and I thought, oh, dear. where we? Then I had the, 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 the word of knowledge then came that I was in an aircraft about to crash into the sea. And I thought, oh, my goodness, and I started to cry out to God. I said, get the captain, get the captain. And then I started to um, really pray for the people on board the craft and for their safe petition. I was saying, God, not one life lost, not one life lost. And I'm asking and begging God if they're going to crash in the sea, get the ships there, get everything that's going to, you know, aid and abet those lives so they will not die of hypothermia, they will not die of drowning or having survived the crash. And then I had a great sense of the peace of God that really came on to the captain and it was humongous. And then I saw the man, I saw actually saw the man. And then, um, so this went on for quite a long time, Sherry, and I'm flat out like on this woman's couch who I don't know praying in the spirit and the woman is very gracious fortunately she worked for a New Zealand ministry and had a clue so that covered me and then then I realized that there was a lot of activity in the spirit there's a lot of stuff going on and and I prayed through each area and then um afterwards I I was depleted totally de virtue had gone out of me as I drove my car home I was thanking God for what he'd done and for saving lives. And thanksgiving is also a big part, very big part of intercession. Thanksgiving um, and, and also worship is a huge part of my life in intercession. I use worship every day. And so that also brings me um, uh, my relationship. Um, I, get a, I get an impartation from God back into my body. And so <clears throat> I... Um, I spoke to the lady and thanked her for praying. And then I said, I'll tell you about it later. The weirdest thing happened. 
And then I spoke to her and then she said to me, um, a few days later, she said, did you hear the news? I said, no. She said, what you prayed for, I'll bet it was the Hudson River. Oh. I said, what? And she said, the Hudson River. There was a plane came down in the Hudson River and then it started to click. Now, I wouldn't have been the only person praying. There would have been, God has an army of intercessors to pray for the Hudson River. But to be a little part, a little tiny part of the Hudson River, and then when I went and saw the movie, I was totally a mess because I could recognise things, even in the movie, even though it was a movie, I could recognise things and I thought, and I was just so thankful to God that he had answered prayer, not one life lost. You're going to share things that, that you haven't shared before you were telling me, but um, what about the person who says, oh, listen, I pray over my family and I pray over my church and I pray over my nation and I don't, I don't think I could ever experience anything like that. What do you say to people uh, like that and who discount what they do as intercessors? Well, that, that, that's actually petitioning prayer. They're, they're petitioning for their family, and that's very important. We must pray for our family. That is a huge good. But God is a God who there's always more. He's a more God. He wants to give us more. Um, he wants to expand himself in us so that he lives big in us. You know, he's he, he's a big God. He wants to inhabit us in a big way. But he, our will's involved, Cherry. So if we don't want to do that, he's not going to strike us with lightning. But I'm right. telling you, we are in a season in this earth right now. God needs every intercessor and he needs to direct every. The world has never been in this position. And so we've got the we've got the darkness and the light, and we have to go and we have to submit to the light, which Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John 3 16. He so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and that's the issue. You connect to the, the Son of God, who is the great intercessor. It says in Hebrews, he is the intercessor of all intercessors. How is he as the intercessor? He makes intercession through you and me because we are the body of Christ, we are his hands and we are his feet. And that's why we must get a connection with him to get our direction. So the end of the story is get a connection to get a direction and let him expand you and you will be excited. Every day is exciting. Well, I can't wait uh, to learn. I know in just our friendship over the years, just listening to you talk, uh, you've imparted things to me and I've sensed a growth in my own prayer life and in the way I hear the Holy Spirit. So I'm encouraging those of you who just want to be in tune more with the Holy Spirit and grow by leaps and bounds. But now listen, if you want to join it, you need to email me at e evangelonline uh, at ewpc.us, or you can just go on ewpc.com, scroll down, click on online classes, and you'll be able to get through that way. It'll give you all the... Uh, instructions how to sign up marilyn thanks for giving and, some some time tonight well, to look forward to meeting everybody you. i'll be so excited to meet you online and to share with you and look forward to that in february i'm so glad you guys are watching this i'm here well we are excited about uh marilyn's class that starts tomorrow evening at seven so be sure and sign up so we can send you the link it takes place on the zoom platform and again, you go to ewpc.com, scroll down to online classes, click on that, and it'll tell you how to get signed up. Hey, I want to pray before we leave the air today. We've got a lot of um, folks that have called in. And remember, you can always call us at 502-962-9650. That's 502-962-9650. And the prayer counselors are there to pray with you. Here is uh, Lola, who lost her husband Thursday. Lola, I know that that's a huge hole in your heart, but I want to say to Lola and to all those who are husbandless that the Bible says that God is a husband to the husbandless. And for those who have lost their fathers, he's a father to the fatherless. So he will step into that position. Here is one who has physical need. Uh, their daughter needs the Lord. Here's one. Uh, that is going in for sur heart surgery on Thursday. We want to pray for them. Uh, here is a 13-year-old granddaughter who needs uh, prayer. She has a lot of emotional issues from trauma in her life. 
And there's many more that have come in, prayer for cancer and others, stroke. We're gonna believe God to step in and intervene. Holy Spirit, if we could do it, we wouldn't need you. But we are desperate for you. For every need and family that's represented for the one who lost a husband, for the one who's had a stroke, the one who's had cancer, the girl, Lord, who's experienced more trauma in her life than anyone should ever have to experience. For every need represented, Lord, that's been called in today and every need that hasn't been called in but is represented by the online audience, we declare in Jesus' name your kingdom to come and your will to be done in their lives. We speak healing. We speak wholeness. I speak freedom to you in Jesus' name. Supernaturally, may you feel a release by the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, God, for intervening in every life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So glad you're with us. It's a real honor to be the online pastor. I get to talk to some of you during the week and see some of you on the, the service during the service time, and it's an honor. We look forward to seeing you back here tonight at 5 with Gustavo Paez again. Bless you.